Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. You know what? The way things are busting loose in this country, <laughs> it'll make your head spin if you let it. I'm telling you. Listen, I was watching a lot of the different videos. It is overwhelming to see what people are going through. To see how people are just trying to survive, just trying to make it. And then President Trump puts a monkey wrench in everything, does he not? And he decides to work against DACA. Well, let me tell you this. Mm. While everybody's getting all bent out of shape, this is what came to me. This is on purpose. This is not just about him being a big head or being a hard head or insensitive and not caring. That's not all there is to it. Right now, he's lining up, he's stacking up the enemies. There's a reason. I honestly believe this to my core. There is a strategy. Listen, if I am... I got to try to figure out how to make the sound. Okay, listen to this. If I'm doing, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk a little softer, okay? Because I'm whispering. Let's say, for example, I have a secret that I don't want you guys to know. So I create clamor. Clamor over here, clamor over there. Okay, here we go. Listen. So anyway. We're going to kill these people. We're going to get rid of them. Get them all upset over here. That's good. That's good. Get them all upset. That's cool. And we're going to get all the weapons together so we can kill them. Now, you don't know what I just said. But I said, we're going to kill these people. That's right. Get them all riled up over there. And while they're getting all upset over here, we're going to come up with a strategy. We're going to get rid of these people. In essence, you know, not direct quote. But anyway, listen, you know, I'm old, can't remember all those details. But listen, my point is, and this is what came to me. My point is, nobody, I mean, I don't mean to be disrespectful. Nobody's that stupid. All right, now let's move on. Yeah. Between the Illuminati the banking system, all the Roths and the Childs and the this and the that, all of these families that run the world. My opinion is the strategy, the bottom line, get people to kill each other, race riots. Get people to die, manipulated weather, floods, tornadoes, hurricanes, whatever, even earthquakes, by all means necessary. Now, that's the agenda for depopulous, depopulation. I want to make sure I get it right. Okay, anyway, I'm very fussy about words and communication, so I hate mispronouncing stuff. So if I mispronounced it, forgive me. Listen. I believe they're trying to bring the population down. What better way? It's a twofold thing. You have race riots on one hand, they kill each other for us. On the other hand, we get rid of all those, what, almost a million? All, almost, not quite. But boy, that knocks our numbers down now, doesn't it? See, we're getting rid of the riffraff so we can go on and be rich and keep all this to ourselves. Now, I know it sounds, I sound like a conspiracy theorist, but this is what I believe. I believe it's all going to come down to the chip, to the mark of the beast. That's the bottom line. You want to stay? You want to play by our rules? It's getting desperate. No water over here. No gas over there. No food over yonder. So what do we do? We create shortages. Shortages. Crime goes up. 
I mean this thing is it's thought out I'm telling you I really believe this and what that forces people to do is well ladies and gentlemen of America we have come to the conclusion that for desperate situations we have to use desperate means and our desperate mean will be everyone has to have a chip because food is very slim water is definitely <clears throat> minimal we have a serious water shortage and there are so many shortages gas limits and every we're gonna have to ration everything so in order for us to be able to do this decently and in order everyone must have the chip say what hello that's the conclusion i have come to now if any of you have any other ideas put them down in the in the bottom line there in the comment section but i honestly believe i honestly believe all of this see we're looking at at, at, at the explosion over here and the fires over there and we're looking at the earthquakes back there and the tornadoes and the hurricanes coming and swirling and creating a wreaking all kind of havoc all over the place like popcorn and when everything settles the biggest pop is gonna be boop. come on baby come on Get the mark of the beast. You want to stay in this country? You want to live, eat, and be well? The mark. We can't afford to feed everybody now. You must get the mark. But see, here's the thing. I know that is a demonic agenda. It's not just people. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities. You know, you go into wickedness in all places and wickedness in high places I mean it gets really really crazy but we who are believers who are part of the body of Christ the vine we will be taken care of now let me tell you how much I'm putting this out there you know how they give somebody a notice they serve notice. I'm serving notice on the enemy. I have been on food stamps for three years because of my limited income, eight fifty six a month. But who says Social Security is going to keep paying out? Who says they're not going to pull that back too? That the only way you'll be able to collect is if you get the mark. Well, I'll let Social Security ride for now because I need it. But I'm going to trust God for the part that makes a big difference and that's where I get to eat. My food comes from the food stamps. Everything else is taken up by bills and house payments and mortgage, all that stuff. So my point is I still qualify for Medi-Cal. I'm still getting Social Security. I am going to tell them after having a long talk with God and getting a confirmation from one of our YouTubers that shared about truly trusting God for provision. And it's scary. I'm not going to lie. I'm human. I'm a widow. I'm by myself. But I have God on my side. And if I don't practice what I preach... Who am I? So I'm asking God to strengthen my resolve so that I can notify the county that they don't have to bother trying to qualify me for food stamps. And I'll let them know I have a lot of friends and support from above and below and God is going to take care of me. And I'm going to trust God for my provision. I need to lose weight anyway, so hey. All right. What are you going to trust God for? Are you going to receive the mark? Are you? Are you going to bow to your appetite? 
Or are you going to bow to your fears? Because they will stir those up for you. All right. God bless you. Be strong. Keep the faith. Do not bow. Do not receive the mark. For you or your children. Trust God. God bless you.